Sit. Good. We're doing this little mat exercise. No. He loves going to his mat, so you need to make sure that when you say SIT, that um, he's got water in his ears because he just got a just had a bath and he has water in one of his ears. Hey, focus now, buddy. So he loves to do that mat exercise. So you make sure that he sits and waits for your permission to go. So I'm gonna pat his little chest and say, "Go to your mat." Oh, he just spotted somebody across the street. Go to your mat. Down. Good. So we're doing this out in public because it's so much harder. Show the car that's just leaving there. The person was getting into the car and everything and good. There are distractions out here that will probably pop up while we're doing this. The car's coming really close to us. Show it. Good. So I want to do this exercise out here because <coughs> it's so much more difficult for him to have focus and stay down out where there's a lot going on than it would be in your living room. And so that's why we practice things when, when we're training with him that are way more difficult than what you're going to be attempting most times so that when we bring him back to you, good. He has some really, really solid skills and those will make up for the fact that you're just learning how to do this handling because obviously He's great here and perfect here, but it's but I know my moves very well. So it's always about the owner learning how to do my moves. He's just like a little fast car, little five speed. And if you can't drive a stick, nothing's gonna work. So that's why we make the video and we accentuate all the hands-on lessons which we're gonna be doing with you. Good. So out here, you, of course, if you're not in a fenced yard or inside, you want to see how he got up? No. Now notice how I do this. He made a mistake. I said no. I paused. Now I'm going to follow up with good. Because you always want to follow up with a positive uh, situation. You don't want to correct him and then let it hang there. You always want to, in any situation, show him what you do want him to do. So if he makes a mistake, you have to put him back, and he, then he does things correctly. You want to really mark that so that he knows, yeah, this is, show the person. No, <laughs> and he's coming this way. Good. He barked, though. He barked. You may not have heard that, but he barked. And, but he still looked at me. He's very distracted by things out in public. Good. That's why this mat exercise is so important to do because I can show you that even though he's distracted, he's still staying in his downstay. Good. <coughs> We're after the byproduct of being able to do this. The byproduct of being able to focus, stay in a downstay, and pretty much pay attention to me because he's doing this with me. When he comes out of this exercise is what's going to make him have a calmer life in general. When he's not on the clock, when he's not working, this calmness that he gets from this little doggy meditation exercise, which is what I call it, starts to take over his life and you start to see his little, uh, his little uh, nervous issues like the submissive peeing and the barking or the you know jumping, whatever he's doing, probably all those things and more. Those start to fade away because those are just symptoms of his main problem, which is he couldn't think, he had no focus, he was easily overstimulated, and doing things like this, and the other things you see, he has water in his ear, that's why he has to itch, so I'm gonna be, go easy on him. No, see, he went down himself. It's just, a, those are just symptoms of his main issue, which is a brain that doesn't work well. And we've fixed that by teaching him these little exercises, and all you have to do is continue doing what we're doing here. Good, we got that person walking across the street again, carrying something this time, I don't even know if he'll notice that he didn't notice it oh he did there he looked back at me good he got a reward we have this long line because i can do something really hard out here and it's still safe he's attached to a leash but i can walk farther away and i can walk out here we're on a very quiet street i wouldn't do this on a busy street but you can use a long line even you know if you have a place that's safe 
and you can practice these long distance <laughs> mat exercises or even just a down stay because after you practice the mat for another month or so at home you'll be able to do just a down stay anywhere like this without the mat good but you really want to practice exactly what we're doing on the video first for a while in your house in your yard in your general area um, before you take this out on the road anywhere because if you can't do this like you see me doing it here without any mistakes or very few mistakes in, in your environment you're sure not going to be able to do it out in public and if you're doing these things in your environment he's going to start to think of your place as the calm zone a lot of those bad habits will fade away so he must have been on this mat for at least seven or eight minutes now so we're going to release him off and this is the way you release him every time you can even work on his anticipation problem good see how he didn't follow my body blindly he actually is waiting until I give him the spoken command he's that means he's focused he's here with us in the moment he's thinking okay sit you always walk next to him you release him off the mat like that and then you release him from a calm sit stay never release him from a down stay because he'll always be on pins and needles go and launch out of that down stay and take off so he's still on the clock until you you have him sit in a calm sit stay and release him from a calm sit stay exactly the way you just saw me do this it takes a lot of focus for him to do this just do this exercise five minutes a day if it's in your living room that's fine or in a secure backyard wherever you've got so much work you can do just in your house it's fine if you just do this inside for a while and then you go out the front door which we'll practice when I bring him back to you and you knock on the door when you're outside and all those sorts of things that we did in our house as well he'll stay there and uh, we can even film you doing that there if you want if you request that um, but uh, just keep this up and he'll get better and better the most important part is when he comes back to you you have to continue doing all these things that we did here um, or else he'll just go back to doing what he used to do there so he he knows how to do this now it's a matter of teaching you these moves so he continues that behavior back with you come on buddy